For what? I'll tell you what, you're gonna either show me your driver's license or you're gonna wind up getting a ticket. I'll tow your car and lock For you up. what? Let me see your driver's license. For you're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV News. Hello, I'm LRJ from LRJ TV News. People, I'm going in on this story. So you wanna stay tuned. So let's not waste no more time. Uh, uh let's go. Seriously? Seriously, is your horn stuck? Is your brake stuck? Is your stuck? fucking horn stuck, smartass? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Let me see your driver's license. This is fucked up. Good, let me see your driver's license. I will. For what? Let Honking? me see your driver's For license. For what? For what? I'll tell you what, you're gonna either show me your driver's license or you're gonna wind up getting a ticket. I'll tow your car and lock it. For you what? Let me see your driver's license. For what? You're being stopped for a traffic violation. Let me for see your honking license. at someone who's sitting at a green light? Fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry, what you just said? I said this is fucking ridiculous. Well, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't be a fucking asshole. <laughs> you're you sitting stupid. at a green light. I have to go back to work. Really? Yeah, really. I hope you're not in a hurry because you're gonna be delayed for a little while. <laughs> fucking jack off. Cool. What a fucking dick. I just wonder why he was sitting there. I wanna know why I'm at first I'm like, who is this guy? I thought it was him. <laughs> no, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's not a police officer. You may be wondering, LRJ, who is this dirty cop? Well, people, he is a detective in the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. You may be wondering why that name sounds so familiar, right? Well, people, down below will be some links of my stories about this low-down, dirty, trifling, corrupted police department called the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. This department is full of dirty, crooked cops. So let me give you the breakdown of this detective right here. Now I want you to look at this man's face as I read to you all the vile things that this St. Louis Metropolitan Police Detective has done. In 2006, he allowed officers to strangle and to beat a man for over an hour. And he did nothing to stop it. 2008, this detective, along with other cops, bust into a house without a warrant, tasing and pepper spraying people and beating on people. In 2012, this detective allowed another detective to beat and punch and break a man's nose. When they asked that this detective would happen, he said the man took his right hand and punched the other detective. Come to find out the man was left-handed and all charges have been dropped in all of these cases. Well, LRJ, what else have this great St. Louis Metropolitan Police Detective have done? Well, let me tell you what else he has done. They made a comment about the Mike Brown's mother speaking at the DNC. They called it the Democratic Criminal Party. A local news representative made a comment, and this is what he said. Guess who liked this comment? He did. You're probably wondering what kind of detective is this man, right? Well, people, he's a force investigations unit detective. There's a group of detectives. Their only job is to investigate police shootings, assaults. Force investigation unit will operate separately, we've learned, from the Internal Affairs Department, which investigates cases in which an officer is accused of any kind of wrongdoing. So a police officer shoot and kill someone or use their gun on a citizen or beat a citizen, this job is to gather the evidence for the case and work with the city circuit attorney's office. And his job is to do what again? To make sure that all the evidence, you wonder why the people in St. Louis act like this.
So first thing this morning, a judge came out and decided that the officer involved in this case, Jason Stockley, was not guilty of first-degree murder and the death of a black man, Lamar Smith. After that happened, people started pouring into the streets here in downtown St. Louis. Now they just, they're pepper spraying. You have a choice. And then the police sit around and act like they did nothing wrong. We have been very tolerant and have used great restraint yesterday and today. And all of you Blue Line Matters murderer supporters, the Blue Line, the Blue Lines. And look the comment they're leaving on this man's page. You see this right here? This man is a dirty, low-down, trifling cop. I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. I love you all. Peace.